Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I'm from Lahore, Pakistan and I welcome you to my general training reading video and we are doing the last section which is supposed to be the toughest one and the last five questions and these questions are true, false, not given. I told you the difference between true, false, not given and yes, no, not given. In yes, no, not given you check writers views or claims and in true false not given you check factual information now let's do these questions together and we'll see how to find the answers and let me tell you in the previous video i told you you got to read what sort of questions are there which are anticipated and keep those questions in mind as well you got to keep them in mind so that after one set of questions when you come to the next set you are already familiar with the questions and you can underline the different parts of the passage because when you're doing one set of questions you've got to go through various parts of the passage these parts can help you with the next type of questions as well now let's do questions uh, 36 to 50 true false not given we'll read the statement together you can see that as well Paris 36 Paris encourages staff to offer help to all customers we read it clearly over there and there was a list of heading as well and let me tell you by the way that list of uh, heading was uh, yeah noticing when customers need assistance okay so in that very paragraph we can find this information see that it rings a bell yeah I read it somewhere I read it somewhere okay so Paris encourages staff to offer help to all customers I don't think so right it's written here in the first paragraph uh, he says he means Paris he says it's about recognizing it's about recognizing that someone needs help not being a nuisance to him you need to recognize if someone needs help then you help them otherwise may I help you sir may I help you sir it's gonna be a nuisance for them that's mentioned in a paragraph and uh, in true false not given all the questions and answers they're gonna be in the same order so in the first paragraph when you got to find the first answer you can try in the first or second paragraph and then go ahead and you'll find the other answers as well Paris encourages staff to offer help to all customers no only those customers who need help that's why question number 36 is false okay let's go ahead 37 Paris is sometimes worried that customers will arrive before the store is ready for them we read it believe me we read it about the timing they come at six o'clock store opens at seven o'clock and they think whether they're gonna be ready or not but they're always ready so Paris is sometimes worried that customers will arrive before the store is ready for them if you did not watch the previous video of the same series please watch it first and then you do it and those who watched it they know what I mean okay let's see we read it already it's in paragraph B it's written uh, how anyone can be friendly and then the store opens at 7 a.m. Monday to Saturday and then they say uh, sometimes he walks in at 6 a.m. and thinks they are never going to be ready they are never going to be ready on time but they always are now what's the statement Paris is sometimes worried that customers will arrive before the store is ready for them that's going to be true exactly because he's worried and he thinks that we are not going to be ready at 7 the customers are going to come in but they are always ready but he actually is worried about that so Paris is sometimes worried that customers will arrive before the store is ready for them it's true got it good fantastic let's go ahead 38 when Paris first became a store manager first became a store manager we read it somewhere there was the year and all that when Paris first became a store manager he knew the store was going to close now let's see when he became a store manager did he think that the store was going to close or not it's here he was made produce manager yes in paragraph C and we read it already when we were doing that uh, list of headings through that we read all of them he was made produce manager then assistant store manager before reaching the top uh, top job in 1998 this involved intensive training and assessment through the company's future store manager program and all that stuff but they do not mention when Paris first became a store manager he knew the store was going to close not given right they talk about the future planning and all that stuff but they, they don't mention it that the store was going to close that's why it is not given 
Statement 39. On average, produce worth 4,200 pounds is thrown away. We read it. <sighs> if you do one question carefully, then you can do the next set of questions easily as well. You underlined 4200 as well. Okay, now all we need to do, we need to see whether it is true, false or not given. On average produce worth 4200 pounds is thrown away every week. I doubt it. Let's see. Yes, it's mentioned in paragraph F and they say, uh, despite eagle eye pairs pulling out fruit and vegetable that most of us would buy without a second thought, the wastage each week is tiny. Produce worth 4,200 pounds is marked down for a quick sale. Now that is not the waste. What's the question? The question is on average produce worth 4,200 pounds is thrown away. They don't throw, throw away there. They put it for quick sale because they know the expiry is near. Right? So I read this thing again. They mention it here. Uh, produce worth 4,200 pound is marked down for a quick sale and only 400 worth is scraped. Scraped means wasted, right? Only worth 400. And here they say on average produce worth 4,200 is thrown away every week. False. This is not true. That's only 400, right? It's not not given. It's false. Okay, last question number 40. Paris was surprised how many staff asked about promotion on the talent day. We read about talent day as well. Now quickly go to talent day, right? And there you read about it and you got to see whether Paris was surprised how many staff asked about promotion on talent day. Okay, and see the questions and answers, they are in the same order. I'm feeling so happy because, you know, the tips are really working and it's becoming easier. Okay, talent day. Yes, I found it in paragraph G. Please follow me. It's written to help him. He has a key term and then he recently had a talent day inviting employees interested in moving to a new job within the store to come and talk to him about why they thought they should be promoted and discuss how to go about it. Uh, we had 23 people come through the door, people wanting to talk about progression. He says, what do they need to do to become a supervisor? 23 people will be better members of staff as a result of the talk. Now, what is that? Paris was surprised how many staff asked about promotion on talent day. Not given. Okay, it's not given. They, they, they don't mention anything that he was surprised. A lot of people came for promotion and all that stuff. So this is not given. Okay, guys. So this was general training reading. I did one complete test for you. Right, we started from the beginning and we reached the end. And by the way, if you're going to find all the answers like I found in this test, then you're going to get nine out of nine. This band, okay? Then you will tell others, I got nine bands, right? So this is how you got to do it. And believe me, there's nothing difficult. We went through all the tests and we did not find it very, very difficult. And by the way, general training reading is not very difficult. Academic one is a little difficult, but general training is just like that. Okay. So all you need to do, you need to follow the tips. Watch these videos once again as well. If you still don't understand and after watching complete videos, I mean uh, all the six or seven videos, you should take one complete test of general training and then you will get to know how much you have learned. And then once again, watch the videos, take another practice test, watch the videos, take another practice test that will help you. I mean, you got to give IELTS some time, right? I teach IELTS online. If anybody wants to join my online classes, you're most welcome. And I charge for that. Okay, I give coaching uh, online tuition for IELTS. Uh, you can uh, join me for that. Apart from this, I have prepared this IELTS course. This is called Easy IELTS Kit. Easy IELTS Kit has got eight video DVDs and four books. And there are practice tests, there are tips, techniques. If you want to prepare for IELTS at home, this kit can help you as well. Asad Yaakov wishes you all the best. Please now follow my instructions. Take your reading test while following my instructions. Inshallah, you will get the best results. Take care. Allah Hafiz.